canceling out my professional mic just to use the mic on the side here. <laughs> so it was fucking everything up. But a lot, headphones. All right. So thank you, uh, thank you, chat, for uh, telling me that for the last um, hour and a half we've. Been <laughs> Well, we really snooped out that. Uh, isn't he still on Twitch on mute? <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. No, is he? Snoop Dogg, he's, so uh, he's been streaming on mute and not knowing this whole time. Wow. No one told him? Wow. I think at this so, point, it's part of the brand. If I rem so, Roxa, you were up. Yeah. Um, uh, Roxa uh, cast Death Ward on... Um, on Larcanus. On Larcanus and then um, made the shield reappear. Cool. And, the sh and if that does it for your turn, what is Jago doing? Jago is going to make a run for Saga's body. Okay. Um, uh, dang it, that's the, that's the spell. There's the right tab. Now I got too many tabs. <laughs> yeah, Jago would be pissed. Yeah, Jago can make that. Um, and then uh, Jago is... Uh, and then... Uh, well, Jago's gonna uh, be uh, gonna stand in front of Saga's body, and then um, look straight at Albuquerque and be like, "We meet again, old friend." Hmm. I am so sick and tired of you people from your tribe, just constantly unwilling to go away. And uh, he's going to cast um, Cloud of Daggers on him. Okay. okay. And let me see. Do, 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 do. Moving all this stuff to the side so the chat can see the thing you guys are fighting. Because, let me see. Boom. There we are. Cool. Um, you you Are you able to move Jago? Oh, I, I, I had to switch from the snap to center. One sec. Okay. Um, how do I move now? You go back to the um, arrow at the top. Boom. Yeah, I want to be like right here. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm going to cast Cloud of Daggers around him. So it's just going to be 4d4 daggers because he's just going to be in the cloud. Okay. And all right. Does he have to make what's, what's the save? There's no save. Oh, it's just like a location based. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's... He just has to move on the next turn. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's get you something to signify that cloud of daggers, because I believe you can move that loose. On your, on your turn, you can move that cloud Super of daggers. Super freak. And we'll just use... So I was getting blue sparkly dice because it's sapphire. I decided. Oh yeah. Okay. And how big is the cloud of daggers? I believe it is. Uh, it's a five foot cube on each side. Oh, five foot. Okay. Cool. So it's right over him. Okay. Cool. Done. And that's what Jog that's what Joggle's doing. Yeah, that's a, um, and then, uh, yeah, so now he's got a roll, right? Yep, he has a roll concentration. No mods, right? No mods, just pure, you got DC 15. Consti it's a constitution. It's a constitution, uh, constitution it's a constitution, save? yeah, constitution save. Oh, oh, it's a constitution save, then, uh, that's way better. <laughs> That'll be a 15. 15 is matches, so um, that is a fail. So you get shunted back into the hemoglobin. Which also will mean. But, alrighty. You know, you can do that. You got. You can, you can do that one more time. And I will. I'm going to back pocket that. Well, now you're the hemoglobin. It's, uh, it's all... Okay, cool. Then that brings it over 
to Barrett. <laughs> He's gonna. He is mad. He is gonna charge the um. The dragon. His full movement. And. Come on, Barrett. Come on, damn it, Barrett. What are you gonna do? He's gonna attack recklessly. I swear, I'm gonna just. Why don't? Why am I dealing with you? I can roll dice. I'm not doing some big ass move. Eh, it's a hit anyway. I'll take it. <laughs> and eight. And then he's gonna roll again. That's a hit. Eight plus eight, sixteen. He does sixteen damage on the on the massive dragon. And now, it's the dragon's turn. The adult blue dragolith. And blue eyes, white dragolith. Yep. Makes three attacks. It's going to bite at Barret. That's a hit. And it's going to roll 2d10. Seven, fourteen. So fourteen piercing damage to reduce to seven, and then he's going to take one d ten lightning damage. So nine total. For, that chomps down on a already wounded Barrett. And then that's his first attack. Then the dragon's then going to. Going to claw at him, which hits because it's plus thirteen. Because see, seven, fourteen. He takes another seven. Where is that? Another seven. It is starting to look hurt. Very starting to look hurt. And. Why is, Midori, why is your page still up? You're screwed. I don't need Midori's page. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Negroni. And then he's going to swipe at the... with a tell attack. And yep, that's a hit. And 2d8. Ooh, that was a good one. 13, 20, 10. So Bear takes an additional 10. And he take he falls to a knee <sighs> as he is starting to starting to dwindle. But he soaks up all that damage from the dragolith, like a tank should. Thank you very much. Tisona, you are up. All right. Uh, so the first thing he's going to do is he is going to cast haste on himself. Okay. You see him. He starts moving at an incredibly rapid pace. And Let's not get too hasty. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> hate you so much. Um, it is... Cool with you. I'm gonna use. Can I use that hasted action on this turn, or does it kick in next round? No, you can use it on this turn. Okay, awesome. Then he is gonna um, move in on the Draco Lich and just wail on it with the sword. Dope. Cool. Yeah. All right. So that is gonna. that one. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to extinct the entire Zariel family today. Mm -hmm. All right. Dragon's going to take a attack of opportunity. Which is a 24 to hit. It's going to bite at him. Uh, yeah, that'll hit even with the, even with the bonus from haste because they see now a 20. Oh, man. Yes. I'm going to make a concentration check if I, since I'm taking damage. <laughs> yep. Alright. Um, what is the constitution? What 
And you and Tisona also t um that's fine. You you can sustain. Um you take uh, additional nineteen bite damage, piercing. Uh, I cannot paint that on character sheet because I don't want it. Oh. You can you can't change it? Okay. So what did I just say? Twelve nineteen. So I will add that. And it also comes with a D10 of lightning. Ow! And one. And that's a... Because that's what the bites come with. So that's just one. One lightning damage. No bigs. Well, any bonus action? Um, not this time because they are pretty much. Actually, you know what? He has two weapon fighting. So let's. What's his second weapon though? Oh, did I ever add his? <laughs> I don't think he has a second weapon. I think he has a club. Maybe no. That's oh, why am I on him? I mean, like, he could just pick up a side of that. Too. I mean, that's he true. Also, he's also wielding a greatsword, so he can't. Yeah. No, it's yeah, two-handed, yeah. It's a two-handed yeah, weapon. Um, yeah, all of his... You know what? I think we... No, I'm not going to use that yet. I mean, that's you really don't do it right. You gotta Levels. take... Levels, and I've already cast haste, so... Yeah. You already cast your spell, and you, and you swung. So I believe you only have, like, a bonus action. But, alrighty. That does it for Tosona Sario. Bring it down back to the top of a round, Leoric. Alrighty. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um. Ooh. Seeing that Farka went down, I'm. She's gonna try to break out of it again. At the end. Oh. At the end? Okay. So at the end of it. Okay. I I don't know why this is so complicated for me. I'm slow. All right. So uh, before then, I guess, she is... You're not slow. Friend. You're just focused on helping your friends more. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely focused on helping my friends. I am. Don't just pull yourself up. <laughs> All right. Well, to do... Uh... He's gonna punch Larkanis because he's in front of her and he's he's less person that need her. Yep. Um do, do, do. uh I'm gonna do my dice. Alright. That is why is my brain uh is That's um sixteen to hit. Uh that misses, and I would like to use um, Tipsy Sway to make you hit your dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, roll damage. Tipsy <laughs> Sway so is my Atlanta rap name. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, you so much. Um, I, I remember that. So that's um, uh, 10 damage for that. Okay. And to the, to the dragon. Yeah. The dragon. Can the dragon now be mad at her? Like, what the, why'd you punch me? Dude? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. It's a dungeon dragon. It's a dungeon dragon. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> what else? Did I get this? Um, she's going to go for another punch again. Mm hmm. That is, oh, that definitely doesn't hit. Um, yeah, that's, um, uh, I don't know why I'm saying, it doesn't hit. Okay. Um, <laughs> was it an Addy uh, one? Um, it was, it was a three. Oh, okay. Like, so, <laughs> so, that definitely does not hit. Okay. Um, All right, well, uh, can I tip this way again? I have lots of key points. I'm making you punch that dragon again. <laughs> I, I want to start doing like whatever. That's all. If I remember, Tootsie Sway is a reaction, right? Yeah. You only can do one I reaction per do... round. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. never mind. All right, then. 
so then it just misses. All right. Um, so we're here. So bonus action. Um, I'm not gonna do her bonus action. That's not what I told me to do. So I'm I'm gonna do another on uh, look another just try and punch him again. Okay. I, <laughs> I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Not I'm using gonna... any of the cool shit I got you. <laughs> I get you. Well, if I can, if I hit him, I can use the cool shit. That he got. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm not doing that very well. Yeah, that's just I'm rolling like shit. Okay. Um, this is some um, real green. This is some real Green Ranger bullshit right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a. Uh, I have to just not. I shall see. That's a 16 hit. Oh, okay. And also misses. Yo, I, I love my new AC. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um. That also. And yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I can't believe it just missed you the whole time. Okay. So that's why. Do do do. So. Okay. That's two actions and then a bonus action. Okay. Okay, I guess that's it. Um, Alrighty. I would just roll at this point. Okay, go Good for it. Lord. That's what I'm I scared. do. I'm <laughs> like, Clip, yeah, Clippy pops up. Hey, I see you're trying to destroy your friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm like, that with dice to roll. Okay. That would be awesome. <laughs> Just bounces up to the side like <laughs> this. is confirmation. <laughs> oh, okay. What's my plus on wisdom? Okay. Uh, all right. That's a. Uh, damn. That's an eighteen again. That's a fail. That's a miss. That's a fail. Yeah. You see that? You feel the the crown sink a little bit tighter around your forehead. Oh. Trying to fight. Oh no. I need you to start rolling higher than that. Oh no. <laughs> Sheesh. I'm gonna need you to just roll an M&M for the sound and then just say 20. And. Terrible. <laughs> 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 that, that would be dishonest. That. Now. <laughs> on the end of your turn, the dra the dragolid's going to use a legendary action to do a tail attack on Barrett. That's a hit. I'm going to cast Tail Whip. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Use Tail Whip! 2d8. <laughs> Lowers defense. <laughs> My friend's got Tail Whip on his level 100 Pokemon, and I'm like, man, you missing out. <laughs> Like what? I I always get rid of those. I'm just, give me an attack that that lowers defense. I'm not about to skip a whole turn to shake my tail at you. Pick out of here. Yeah, debuffs are kind of useless. And right. Barrett takes uh, additional ten damage. He is looking fucked up, and that will do it for the legendary action of the Dragolith. Bring it to Larcanus. So I have a question about these daggers because I'm I'm pretty sure they got rage on them. So like, if I if I were to cut myself with the dagger, that's some Jago magic. I know, I know, I know. But I mean, if it got rage on it, then I'll be an enraged monk. If it has rage on it, I don't like you, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have like a bottle of rage on you? I remember when Jago had a barrel of it. I don't yeah. think I took one of those. Oh, okay. You only have weed. You only took the weed. <laughs> yeah. I all I got is buying weed. I guess I'll just. He needs to sort out his priorities. <laughs> rage or weed? Come on. Pick the weed every time. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that sounds like something that saves family. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go on. Exactly. <laughs> it's a man on pizza. You know what? Never mind. Anyway. Um, All right. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, 
stick. I'm gonna hit New York with the stick. Okay. Snap out of it. Please do. You damn. That's not gonna make her snap out of it, but who can hit her? Yeah. <laughs> Why won't you die? <laughs> Why won't you die? One of my favorite character fails, yes. <laughs> um. Damn, that, that misses. The first strike misses. Okay. <laughs> You're both on my shit. <laughs> okay. Second strike is a uh, twenty-four. Yeah, that hits. And you do have reactions. I do oh. have reactions. No, uh, I'm uh, What did you do? <laughs> Sheesh, that's a six oh. for damage on the stick. Jeez, man. <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna fear your blows. I am going to use my reaction. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna use uh, the redirect check, uh, attack. Who am I switching with? Uh, I'm like going over to roll 22. Who am I? Um, yeah, probably the one that's a. Uh, I'm like looking at this room, like I'm like blanking on who this would be. Just although I'm gonna switch places with the the wraith that's on the ground. Okay. I'm closest to him. Um, redirect that attack. And you <laughs> you redirect the attack as you as a you switch places with the wraith. Mm. Just this like this necrotic <laughs> bond between the wraith and you, <laughs> and. You see, and now you're you're striking at a wraith. Go ahead and um, do damage on the wraith. Alright, I love that you get like like I get most of your references, like like ninety percent. My grandma's blood, yes. Chips weak, chips weak. Alright, uh, so I'm rolling third damage. Yep, yeah, because you hit. But now you're fighting um a wraith instead of Leoric. Stupid wraith. Uh, do, 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 do. That is ten for damage for that first strike. Okay. Um, can I use the second strike to grab? I would like to throw the wraith at Leoric. Um. <laughs> considering it's an incomparable, it's it's not. It moves through objects. <laughs> you want to throw me, bro? No, right? Um. No, uh, no, okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I, I feel like uh, it was. And, and honestly, I, I'm contemplating if I want to let you try. But I, I think. I, 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 I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. You have fought enough rates to know that they can't even be grappled. They're immune to being grappled. You've fought them enough to know that even attempting to actually grab one is kind of an impossible thing to do. All right. I halfway thought about, sure, go ahead and blow a try on that one, but I was like, nah. All right, that's fine. Then I'll just hit it again, I guess, or whatever. Oh, sorry. <laughs> second, strike is a, second strike is a 16. 16 hits. Oh, sweet. Weak bastard. That is another 10 for damage. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And... And, uh, yeah, patient defense. Patient defense. And I already rolled for Kit. And she missed the dragon. So she's gonna... Saga, you are dead. Oh, thanks for the reminder. And <laughs> the Wraith is going to attempt to attack uh, you, um, Larcanus, at disadvantage. No, because you, your AC is like 20 now, right? Yes, it is. Yep, no, it oh, is no. unaffected. You, It misses you, and now it's Gabriel's turn. Oh, Gabriel, who is nearing the end of God. Let's see what we got here. He already did disintegrate. And now... Well, going to throw out another magic missile. <coughs> uh, why am I using those? He's going to use magic missile at fit level. 
on the dragon. 3, 7, 11, 11, 15, 16, 16. 16 damage to the Dragolith. Dragolith is starting to look a little, uh, a little, a little, a little, some of the bones are starting to fall off. A lot of the residuum is now on the ground. Uh, still enough of it's animating the dragon. But it's starting to feel it. It's starting to feel a little bit of a, a little wear on the battle. Now it's time for the Wraith, who is going to attack Tasona. God, these Wraiths can't hit for shit. They feel the just you know. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Stacy so got a plus two boost from haste, so it's up to 20 now. Okay. It, it rolled a four, so. Okay. But let's have Awakorte do a little bit of a legendary action. Good night. He's going to cast. He's going to cast. Better serve, fiery red. He's at level 17, so he's going to cast Ray of Frost. There's his streak. Let's see what streak he can do. He's gonna move. <laughs> and yeah, he's going to right, he's gonna move right over here and do a perfect line. Hmm. Doesn't line up the way he wants. Oh, there it is. He's gonna cast Ray of Frost, hitting Roxa. So you can hit Roxa and Barrett. Yeah, me being on top of this dragon was like the best strategic placement. <laughs> He's gonna do 4d8. Let's see. As he just kind of levitates constantly in the air. 7, 8, 12, 17. Twenty. You take twenty frost damage. And I need you to move and make a rain spell attack, blah blah blah. Twenty and it's and your speed is reduced by ten until the start of your next turn. Okay. Until the start of his next turn, sorry. So you take twenty frost damage. You and Barrett. No, no. And Ooh, wait, hold on. Barrett. Uh oh. How much you got? No. Barrett's down. Ooh. Damn. The frost just courses all over him and he collapses unconscious. And now that was he used a legendary action for that one. And now it's his actual turn. And he is going to It still would have hit, but I was supposed to be on the dragon behind my cannons. Alright. Yeah, okay. That's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll still take the damage, because that was my fucker. It's all good. It's all good. Alrighty. And now it is the Lich's turn, and he is going to... He is also going to cast... He's going to cast Blight at level 4. He's going to... Uh, there's... Oh. No, they would have left when he uh, disappeared. When Jago disappeared, yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. He's going, to sh he's going to aim Blight at Jonah. Which, Jonah is going to cast Counterspell. And let's see if he can... Beat the... Row. And that's a 19. So, yeah, as you see Awakorte begin... Counter, I hardly knew him. Haha. <laughs> As he goes to shoot at Jonah, Jonah just makes a, a variety of signs and symbols with his hands, and it just negates the spell entirely. And then he holds up a middle finger to Awakorte. And now, now it is Zul's turn. Zul is going to attempt to. He is actually kind of. Not doing well, but he's gonna have to cast some uh, cure wounds on himself to 
top himself off. No, no. Zul's too much of a good man. He's gonna try to break out under call lightning at level three. And try to hit Alicorte. He's going to try to make a dexterity save. He passes, so he takes half the damage. Actually, half of the half, because he's resistant to lightning. So that's... Four. Ooh, that didn't do much. That was a big spell for nothing. Yeah. Well, I know what that's like. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Now Jonah, he's gonna try to hit at the um, the Dragolith. Eight, nine, ten. No, that's a miss. Damn, he missed a big ass Dragolith. Alrighty. So Jonah is gonna try to get closer to his sister. I'll do it for his turn. Roxa, you're up. Cool. Um, I am going to... My speed was halved, but it made me still be able to get to Saga. Oh, uh, your speed is reduced by 10. My 10, yeah, which is halved for me. Oh, okay. Uh, because I get an extra 1d12 lightning hop at each movement. But, um, which is super adorable, by the way. Yes. Very much. Um, so I'm gonna, uh, and what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off the dragon and try to slide and use that last like bunny hop to slide towards the uh, saga's body. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to cast revivify. All right, you break out that diamond. What's the casting time on revivify? I believe that one's the. Uh, let me search into the scroll. Casting time is one action. One action. All righty. As you make your prayer to Shantea and you hold out your diamond, the diamond starts breaking away into dust and the dust kind of falls onto Saga's face going inside with the magic coursing around. And Saga, you breathe in your first breath. Cue if it's up by Cardi B. <laughs> 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 and uh see if I can uh, and then uh bonus action mm -hmm. see, using spiritual weapon uh, bonus action shield of faith on her body okay go ahead and move your shield you should be able to yeah, uh, shield of faith. Oh, Shield of Faith. Uh, that yeah. gives her a bonus AC. Bonus uh, 2 to AC right now. Yes, 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 yes. So, make note of that. And I'll put her at 18 for the moment. Alrighty. Barrett needs to make a death save. He fails. And now for the Dragon. Y'all making me really be a field medic right now. Yeah. Ooh, okay. The dragon is going to first. Let's see. It's going to move. So I need you to make a, um, a dexterity uh, saving throw. Larcanus to remain on the dragolith. That's, oh, that's a 16? 16, you barely hang on. If you want to hang on, or you can jump off and jump off yeah. safely. Up to I you. Like this positioning. I'm, I'm not getting hit with it. <laughs> okay. So, so you you try to hang on. And, and it's going to line up between Zul, Kith, and Gabriel, and it's going to cast Lightning Breath. It's going to stay up here. <laughs> 
12d12. 12d10, I'm sorry. Damn, I wish I could hit it in the head right now. Stop it. <laughs> Let's see who survives this one. It's a DC 20. So let's see how Zul fares. That's a fail for Zul. That's a fail for Kit. And that's a fail for Gamer. They all fell, taking 69 lightning damage. And. Ooh, Zul is still up. Thankfully, he did, he did heal himself. Sheesh. Kit is down. And Gabriel is down. And let me. Oof. Looking bad, guys. Zoo's still up, but Kit down. As is Gabriel. As the lightning. So, Saga, as you're slowly coming back to consciousness, you see Barrett down and a dragon coursing out lightning, electrocuting Gabriel and Zul and Kit, bringing the other two down to the ground, and they're shaking in spasms. And you see, riding on top of the dragon barely holding on, is Larcanus. With <laughs> his thumb. Got it. And Tisona, you are up. All right. Uh, so he's going to. Um, he, he can he tell Leora because under the control that he was under. What's up? Yeah, he yeah he can tell. He know he he's very familiar with it. Well, so we're gonna we're gonna wail on the wraith instead. Okay. So that is going to be a uh, obscenely high thirty one. Yeah. Hit. Yeah, it is. He doesn't miss. He doesn't miss. Does he crit on 19? Is that like a fighter thing or is that just a champion thing? I think that's a champion. I think that's a special feat from champions. So let's get those D6s. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, Got three attack for action, and he feasted. Let's go. Um, That's a pretty great sword. <laughs> God. Oh God. Uh, that'll be a 19 to hit. 19 hits. Great. Um, that'll be, oh, max damage. Love that. 19 damage. Okay. Max pain. <laughs> the wraith is starting to flicker. Great. We'll hit it again. Go for it. That's good. E29 to hit. 29 hits. Um, 13 points of damage. Ooh, nice. If the wraith is still up, we're going to take that hasted action on it because he's it's, right now. It's, it's, it's right there. It still has a little bit of HP left, but it's low. 19 to hit. 19 hits. Sorry, no, that's more than 19. That's 29. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that is bullshit damage. Uh, nine points of damage. Nine points. Okay, it's still up. It's still up. It's flickering hard. But Kay, congratulations. You guys beat that guy in a fight, so. <laughs> Pretty good. Gabriel. Let me tell you now. That was uh, Tisona. We're now back to the top of the round. Leoric. All right. Um, uh, well. Uh, if she tries to take it off. Yeah. Yeah, if I try to get off. Um, uh, what, what am I doing? Okay, I am not going to share the same level of uh, kindness, I suppose. That's not what you do. Um, uh, no. I'm just going to do an unarmed strike to punch. Am I muted? No, I'm not. No, you're not. <laughs> unarmed strike. Okay. Alright, 
That's an 18 to hit. 18 hits. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are, are you hitting Tisona or are you hitting... What, who are you hitting? Tisona. Oh, okay. No, no, that doesn't hit. Alright, cool. Um... Sorry. Alright, um... Oh, do I count as an attack? An attack? Okay, I didn't know that. Okay. Um... I'm going to, uh... There we go. No, I'm just gonna try to hit him again. Okay. That... Oh, that's a natural 20. Um, so that would be a 29 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Truth. Roll, r- roll damage, uh, double the damage dice. Hell yeah. Um, Whatever you roll is times two. Alrighty, um... Jeez, this is the first time she's made it to damage somebody. Yep. He's a heavy guy, too. He's one of your strongest fighters on the field right now. I think that's a, he's a level 16. Mm. Um, that's, uh, that's... That's a 16 damage. Okay. All right, I'm going to cast Flesh Rebuke at third level as a reaction. Mmm. Uh, so I need a... Look, let's save. I need a dex save from you. Uh, DC 16. You, uh, dex there, you said? Yeah. All right. Um... That is uh, 14, so. All right, so that's a fail. You are taking 2d10 at level one, which makes it 4d10 at level three. I'm sorry, I'm a bastard. <laughs> no, it's me. Good time to be a bastard. Like, right? like, yeah, I have like a punchable face right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh no, that's a percentile die, not that one. <laughs> All right, that is 9, 10, 17 points of fire damage. 17 points total? Yep. Okay, cool. I thought you were, I was oh. like, if you're asking me to do math, I'm going to do that. Oops. Did I do that right? Let me double check. All right, here for it. First level, second level, third level. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, really? That's correct? Okay. Alright. Oh my gosh. Um. So I did my. Did I? Did I say? I missed the first time and then the second time. Okay. Um. So I'm going bonus action. Um. I'm gonna do the. Two flurry of blows for regular action. Alrighty. Um, that is uh, nineteen to hit. Sorry. No. No, it doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, it doesn't hit then. Um. Uh, all right. I think, yeah, that's, I think that's all for that. Um, do I still have a move, though? I don't think, I don't, I have moved, so. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, like, working on another project, so, like, my, I have, like, a whole bunch of tabs open that's, like, not d d related. I'm like, okay, I'm anti-black, um, like, literature, <laughs> move out the way. Okay, um, uh, 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 all right. What a nightmare to always have that up. <laughs> yeah, it is, but like I don't want to lose my shit um, <laughs> where I'm at. Um, all right, so I didn't even open the correct tab. I want to punch myself in the face. Okay, um, where would I need to? I don't think. Roll for damage. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I didn't hit, so I didn't. I didn't do it. So no, no. yeah, I'm the, not the, the, the face punch. That. The self. The self face punch. Oh, the self face punch. Yeah, no, that's not. He didn't tell me what. He just told me to kill the guardian. So, you know, I'm trying to think of like what, the most literal sense of that word. What she did. So, um, I guess I'll just. I, I'm like scared to so, like if I fail. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to break out of it again. Okay. I'm scared. I know. <laughs> 
terrified. I'm like, don't want to look. <laughs> Come, like. I do have inspiration, actually. You do. I do. Oh my gosh, this was um. um just that keep is. Fighting this week. Oh my god, that's a 19. That's a success. <laughs> Isn't it? DC 18? Wow, it is, buddy. <laughs> DC 18? Okay. That is one success. Okay. You can now... Yay. So your next turn, you do not have to make an attack. You can make a small, simple gesture, or you can speak something, but you do not have to strike at them, and you can feel the, the little bit of the grip of the crown loosen up a little bit. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you... That was a close one. That was a close one. Wow. Alright. <laughs> Cause I would have went to town on them with your all the moves. I would have thrown every move yeah, I've given yeah, you. I'm like, like, I'm like, I'll like hit them, like not like, you know, but I'm not gonna You're holding back. Me. You're holding back. Yeah. Which I like. It makes sense. You're you're following orders, but you're not really going hardcore. So it makes sense for Leora to be doing this. I yeah, you're phoning it in a little bit. Mm. Alrighty, um, that that does it for Leoric's turn. Uh, Larkan, um, you see that um. Uh, no, no, still not yet. So, Larcanus, you are on the Dragolith. I am far away from freaking everybody. Uh, sheesh. Uh, damn. How strong is this Dragolith? It looks sturdy as fuck. It seems hurt. It seems hurt. Oh, uh, can I just, uh, like, punch it in the spine from here? Fuck yeah, <laughs> go for it. Go for it. Start hammer fisting down. <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna start beating this uh, this dragon spine here. Oh look at that! That's a twenty-eight. Wait. <laughs> to hit. That hits. I mean, I feel like I, like I should have advantage on that because I'm like right up the top. And that is eleven for damage on that first strike. Good, good, good. Oh my God! Another twenty. Yeah, that's good. Twenty. What not? Twenty-seven. Good. Twenty-seven. Eight. That hits. Uh, that's six for damage, though. Here you right at that spine. Go for it. Start just pounding away. Oh, man. That's lovely. That's a... Uh, 24. 24. That hits. This one's of the new die. I think I, I discovered a new way to roll. Mm -hmm. That's 10 for damage. Nice. It's starting to look hurt. That's the, this is my last strike. That's it's it's over twenty. So it hits. <laughs> okay. Uh, you said it's over twenty. Yeah. It's okay. Good. That hits. And that's oh sweet, that's maximum twelve damage. Twelve. Very so good. Just, and I'm gonna patient defense on top of this dragon. Okay. Because um, I'm really close to Al Corte. Awa Corte. <laughs> Awa. <laughs> a W A. Awa. Only learning how to pronounce Awa. Awa Kote. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying his name wrong. <laughs> okay. Um. At the, at the end of your turn, the Dragolith is gonna use a legendary action to beat his wings. So you're gonna have to. And so. And, and you're kind of the only one in no doom movement, right. so you can get close to. It would first do is no, because it can't do a move. This is a legendary action. So you're the only one in it. Is bo you're bothering it. So it's going to use this wing attack to um, to not only Ooh, hurt no. you and get you off of it. <laughs> I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Come That's on, uh, nineteen. Not enough. So you're gonna take. <laughs> he, he knew I was gonna throw that no matter what. DC. It's a DC twenty one. It's DC twenty one. And so you're taking the hit. You're taking the damage, which is a uh, 2d6. Okay. 6, 8. So you take um, 15 bludgeoning damage. 
and you are in Athenian's wings, so it can fly up to half of its flying speed. So it's going to fly off. You're falling off, um, and and you are knocked prone as you're hitting the ground. So you're also going to take some fall damage. Minus sixty. Six. So I'm sorry. Seven fall damage. Minus sixty. So no fall damage. Oh, yes, you're right. Um. Yes, you are correct. You don't take fall damage because you have slow fall. You slowly fall on the ground, but you are knocked prone. Um, and now the dragolith is flying kind of up in the air. Yep, I'm going to need some healies. And it's going to use its movement speed. It's going to use its movement speed. It can go half, so it's going to line right up with everyone else as you see it. Kind of right now, and is about to do that that familiar with lightning coursing through his throat. Oh, no, I don't like that. No likey. Kit, it's Kit's turn. Shh, let me do a death save for her. She passes that death save. So, Saga, you are up. All right, Saga just is gonna hearing Roxa warn her to stay quiet. She's gonna kind of look over at him nod and then she's gonna take her axe in her hand very subtly staying on the ground she's gonna cast branding smite as a bonus action okay i'm gonna hold an attack in case anybody gets in melee but otherwise she's just prepping for next round and hoping that she gets killed in the meantime okay <laughs> it's now for the weekend wraith's turn the one that's been missing every shot. It's gonna. 11. Um, don't worry, I got you. That's a 17 to hit. Just, I don't think that's not Tissona's AC. No. Misses again. Uh, Misses again. Gabriel. Hey. Gabriel's gonna do a death save. He fells his second death save. Just about to forgive him, too. You see him over there, he's spitting up blood as he is slowly, you know, suffocating off of his own blood. And now is the second race turn. 17 plus say the 23. Uh, let's first move you. You're still in that spot. So it's actually going to try to attack um, Roxa. So um, that was uh, 23 to hit. Yes. And it's going to for D8. Here are my D8s. Where my D8's at? Where my D8's at, people? <sighs> it's okay. This guy knows what I'm talking about. This guy definitely knows what I'm talking about. Three, six, 12, 14. You take 14 necrotic damage, and I need you to make a constitutional saving throw. Twelve. Twelve. That is a fail. You are... That 14 is permanently... Gone until you end. You do a long rest. Oh, it is a product contract. Yeah. Ain't no thing. Yeah. Just keep that in mind that you can't help. You can't heal for those fourteen. And well, it should do a max HP um, modifier, something like that. Yeah, it's like the one box I can't click on. That's weird. And now it is Alacorte's turn. Boo! He is going to. F in the chat. <laughs> I'm actually doing it. 15. He's going to gently. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> What, what, what shit is going on? Because I'm not paying attention to the chat. What kind of shit? F. Oh, fuck y'all. <laughs> sure. Fine. You do that. He is going to go right up to uh, Arcanus. Oh, man. I hate it though. I was so close to him. You're, you're pretty close to him. I know. <laughs> oh, shit, guys. Guys, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Reminder, you still have death for it. Oh. 
It's still pretty bad though. I'm pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> so he looks over at you. He looks over at you. Ah, the monk. Lachanus. I believe we've had moments like this before when you were uh, trapped in the bayou. I'm sure you remember my finger. And he casts his finger of death. You take. I need you to make. Uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Constitution save. Okay. Oh man, this is. Laugh. <laughs> Fifteen. That is not enough. You take. Because I, I don't have any modifier on my constitution. You take sixty-two necrotic damage. How much? Sixty-two. Oh, okay. So I'm dead then. All right. Uh, but you have uh. Death oh, ward. Yeah. You have death ward, so you only go, you go to one each. You go to one you, as you feel this this incredible Nakara energy, like literally go directly into your heart and stop my it. Life flashes you, before my eyes. What what does Lacana see when life flashes before his eyes? Uh, first, he he remembers himself as a boy playing with the ball. He kicks the ball. The ball bounces off the wall, hits him in the face. Then it goes to him training. <laughs> and uh, it's his father, and his father is beating him in the head with a stick and telling him to get it right, and he's still getting it wrong. And <laughs> then it goes. <laughs> then it goes to the day that he left the monastery, and he remembers uh, his father trying to hit him with the stick, and then he catches it, and he like throws the stick to the ground, and he just runs. So he just runs running. And then... Uh, he goes back to the moment where he flees Awakorte for the first time, and Nikai comes back. So it's like he almost dies in, like in his mind. Nice, nice. And as your life leaves you, and your heart stops for like a couple seconds, and then you feel this, um, you get a sense of, of nature. You feel you get in your nostrils, and you feel this hand over your heart, and it, and Shantaya. Brings you to one HP. Oh, that Shantaya person that you're speaking of all the time. That oh, whoa. All right. Okay. Coming in clutch. Is this not God or something? Is that just might, what happened? <laughs> might be, might be something to this religion thing. Oh well, it's what got me into this pickle. So you know. <laughs> Who knows? That's a force of, a force of evil. That's not a... Oh, uh, yeah. You, you, that's Awa That's a whole nother. <laughs> that's a whole nother. Okay. And Maybe it's Zool, the belief system. Maybe it's Awa Zul is... <laughs> Zul is looking pretty messed up. He's looking rough, but he is kind of limping over to you, Larcanus. Um, as you're still prone on the ground, actually. Yeah. And he leans down, touches you, and he's going to cast Cure Wounds at level 4. Oh, Seven. Uh, How much necrotic damage does that take? You took 62. Was that like a permanent stick? No, no, no. That's just... Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that's 7, 9... Um, gotcha. Can't do math. 9, uh, 17... You, you heal for... Oh, no, I got to add this modifier. 20... I thought I was about to have, like, 15 hit points for the rest of the... <laughs> 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 That'd be ass. Dude, I'm like, I'm going to be you, behind everybody. You heal, for, you heal for 23. Okay. You go, I take a long rest. <laughs> right? I'm going to go take a nap, guys. <laughs> you <win the> battle. <laughs> and... <laughs> he's, uh... Zoo's looking pretty rough. He's looking yeah, very rough. All my heal spells are touch-based. Jonah is going to roll a death save. Where's Jonah? No, no, Jonah's still up. Ha. Huh. Jonah's good. Forgot about Jonah. There you are, Jonah. Now, Jonah, what are you going to do? What do you got on you? Do you have anything useful? Not a whole lot. But he is also going to touch he's going to go over to saga 
Like that's um don't do that. Don't don't do that. Try. And he's gonna touch you, he's gonna whisper a prayer to Talona and cast Death Ward on you. And that will do it for It's really cool, it works, it works super well. Roxa, you are up. Wounds at a fifth level. Mm-hmm. Heal you for 42. Ooh, there you yeah. go. There you go. Someone's back in the fight. Oh, no, that, means, that means I gain about. Because I heal as you heal. Yeah. As long as you have a minus 14, then you can heal up to that. I'm going to heal up to 61, so if you can. Um, <laughs> let me do. And then I'm going to. Uh, uh, and then my spiritual weapon's still out. Mm-hmm. And is there, there's still a wraith. There's here? still a wraith right behind you. Yeah, so I want to uh, Captain America and have her bounce into him and it catches her on my arm. Go for it. Throw to hit. Oh, it's 24. 24 hits. Roll damage. Seven damage. Seven damage. Just enough to destroy the wraith. Avengers, assemble. <laughs> You're so proud of that. You're so proud. And you look over at your Avengers, and most of them are dead and dying. <laughs> mm. <Citizen>. <laughs> so, alrighty. That does it for Roxa. Nah, but I hit Sarge with a good broken tiger. <laughs> Barrett is going to roll a death save. Is, um, that's, no, he's two and one. He's two and one on death saves. And in which direction? The the wrong direction. Right. He rolled good. He wouldn't have to roll this. Come on, buddy. Yeah, they're yeah, they're not doing good. Oh. And now yes. it's the dragolith's turn. Oh, and the dragolith is gonna go. Towards Zulu. To Zul. And it's going to. You want to kill us with the dog on cam? Yeah, nah. You can't kill us in front of the dog. Yeah, that's rude, man. Yeah, Rob the... wouldn't appreciate it. He really wouldn't. You trying to traumatize this cute puppy? Dog, <laughs> baby, you can't kill us in front of the dog. He misses. The, the, the dragon lip misses the first swing. Rolled very low. But for the second one, that's a hit. So for his claw attack, 2d6. Six. Six plus seven, 13. How we doing, Zul? How we doing? Zul's down. Oh. Damn. Are you sure you go down swinging? He used his last, he, he took the full brunt of, he took a big brunt of the um the lightning breath. And that took a lot of his health. And instead of healing himself, he healed Larcanus. So, Zul. Yeah, typical NPC action. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> and for his third strike, it's going, for his tell, it is going to... Hit you, Arcanus. Which you are still prone, so it's advantage. But that was two very bad rolls. Um, but uh, eight plus thirteen. Twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one to oh wow. Oh the fuck actually hit me. Wow. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I'm calm. I'm only like yeah, whatever. Um but <laughs> I'm I'm rolling pretty low on uh damage, so thirteen. You only take 13 okay. bludgeoning. As this, as you're like, uh, uh, and you just see this tail just whoosh, right on, right, you, hit you even further down on the ground. Oh, let me, let me. Some Dragon Ball Z shit. Yeah. <laughs> and that will do it for the Dragolith turn. Tisona, you are up. 
Alright, let's let's finish this race. Speaking of pain in the ass, why is it still alive? <laughs> um that is a twenty-five hit. Twenty-five hits. Um four, five, twelve points of damage. Nice. That yeah, that does it. Finally, alright, uh using all of that sweet, sweet haste speed. He is going to, I can't move him, but he's going to hop up in melee with the Draco Lich, and he's going to use the rest of those three attacks that he's got. Go for it. Right, um, so let's do the first one. That is going to be an 18 to hit. 18. Let me look at the Dragolith. Dragolith's a pretty easy. 18 is a miss. Thanks. That might be the case. Um... That'll be a big number. Uh, 30 to hit. 30 hits. Uh, for, wow, that's a rude damage roll. Uh, for two points of damage. How much? 10. 10, okay. All right, um, and then last attack. This is the one for the hasted action. Oh, I'm not going to hit at all. Okay. Um, let me see what he's got for a bonus action. That's Saga. That's the wrong sheet. Uh, he is going to... He's a fighter. So, you know, you got your action surge. You got your second wind. Oh, shit. He's got action surge. Let's action surge. Um, thank you for reminding me that. No so problem. <laughs> Go for it. I figure. You're, you're, you're handling two different character sheets. I give you a leg up. Yeah, 24 to hit. And 24 he hit. Multiple action surges. He um, is, I think. I think he has, like, two action surges. Love that. All right. Okay, yeah, so he has 24 to hit. Yep, that hits. Cool. Um, for uh, 13 points of damage. 13. Oof. More of the residuum is flying off of the the dragolith and it's starting to slow down the whole rule the whole floor is scattered with just residuum all over a 28 to hit 28 hits for 16 points of damage Oof, starting to look really hurt <laughs> um and then that's gonna be a 30 to hit 30 hits. For 11 points of damage. How does the Sona want to do it? Um, he... I just think that he's kind of a quick fighter because we saw the, the, the sort of quick movement. He's got haste up. So he's kind of just like spinning around this thing. Like, you know, it's like one attack here and then he ducks and dodges underneath its leg, underneath its wing, comes up, stabs upwards, and the final thrust, he... Uh, he kind of ducks under one of its legs and just stabs straight, straight up through its jaw. Nice. And with that, all the residual inside his body just shunts out and falls on the ground. And this massive dragulet falls over undead dead. <laughs> Very nice. And does that... Does that do it for Tasona? I was gonna miss a step away if it didn't die, but I guess... Oh, I am going to... Lacanus is in melee with Alcorte. About to be. <laughs> yeah, he's... He, he's prone on front of him, yeah. so... <laughs> and I get, yeah. technically... Technically, if you call being a being down and <laughs> being on your back, uh, the other side to get him flanking when he wakes when he when he gets back up. Cool, boom. Ah, Tizona, always stubborn. Alrighty, and that does it for Leoric. You are up. All right. And I can't do anything. I can only, like, say you, something. You can right? say something. You can make a simple gesture. Um, I don't know. 
half um I, I don't think I'm like an am I hearing distance from anybody? I don't know. You're um, oh yeah, this thing's dead. I gotta make sure this thing is gone. Sure. Yeah, I don't know if anyone could hear me from where I'm at. I'm kinda like not near anybody. Um <laughs> Alright, um, but, uh, she's just gonna say, it's like, the crown, it's the crown, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, that's what she's gonna say, she can't do anything else, um, and would I still be able to do, try to shake it off this turn? You can try, you can try. But does that count as the last try? No, she has to do, it's three fells in a row. She has to have three fails in a row or three successes. Gotcha. Like a death save. Got it. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't know, like... Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's a... That's, I rolled a 19, so that would be... That's another nice success. Nice. So the, the yeah. crown starts coming off a little bit. It's, it's right there. Larcanus, you are up. Saga probably heard that because she's sort of like taking a beat in the middle of the battle and she's just going to look over. Come on, Leoric. Come on, you're strong enough. Yeah, I feel like I was on the ground. Can I hear that? Yeah, you heard it. Like, Everyone heard it. Yeah, I, I also rally Leoric. All right, I'm sorry for distressing. You got this. This old you bastard is nothing. Like literally, he's just like he's like dust and stuff, you know, like bones. <laughs> <you know>. Deal. <laughs> Alrighty, Larkanus, you're up. All right. Uh, shit. As you stand on your back, looking up at Awakorte, just kind of levitating off the ground, this necrotic energy coursing around him and all over you. Cool, 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 cool. Um, that would take like a whole turn to stay. No, half like your action. movement. It's half your movement. Oh, okay. Well, then that's cool. So it gives me 25. Okay, yeah. So I stand. Hmm. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him with a stick. Go ahead and hit him with a stick. You're flanking. Huh? You're flanking, so. <laughs> oh, so it's an advantage. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, oh, dang. If I use my breath weapon. That's probably gonna hit Tasona. Huh? That's gonna hit Tasona, yeah. Damn it. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, damn. Well, that's with advantage too. Um, the stick does. The stick misses, I'm sure, because that's like what's fifteen. Yeah, that's a miss. Yep. Uh, another swing. Sheesh. That one is twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. Good. All right. That is, yes, 12 damage with that stick. Nice. I'm going to go uh, Fury Blows. Punch the dust. As you're hitting him in his chest, actually, it's like a god can bleed. Mm -mm. Seemingly like it's, he's still very much unbothered. But, uh... Hey, I'm trying, though. That second hit is, uh, you know, just... That's uh, a plus eight is twenty four. Yes. Four. Yeah, that hits. That's eleven for damage. Nice. Uh, one more hit. Oh man, that's a natural. Natural twenty. There you go. <laughs> there we yeah. go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, uh oh yeah. And you what? How's how does this work again? Uh, what what you Twelve. roll is times two. Twelve. Uh, so sixteen. Nice, nice, damage nice. Yep. For that last hit, and then I'm gonna. Damn. Do I want to disengage this fool? And uh, I'm gonna. Mm, I hate this guy so much. I'm gonna throw patient defense. Alrighty. Ah. Uh. He is going to use his first la uh, lair action. And he looks around. All of you. 
care so much about one another. And he is going to... I need you, Larkanus, to make a constitution saving throw. Mm, come on. Oh, shit. Uh, am I at, like, disadvantage or anything? Nope. <laughs> shit. All right, so that's a six. Six. Okay. You all see this. You see... He cares so much about one another, and he opens, and he, he does a, a certain sigil sign along his chest, and a stream of necrotic energy <laughs> connects right to you, Larcanus. And whatever hurts me will hurt you. And. No! You just, you, did you fucking wording bond him? A cackling cord of negative energy tethers the lich to the target. Whenever the lich takes damage, the target must make a DC constitution saving throw, or on a fail save, the lich takes half damage, rounded down, and the target takes the remaining damage. The terror lasts until the initiative count 20 at the next round, or until the lich and the, or the target is no longer in the lich's lair. You are now... He is the lair, so good luck with that. All right. So wait, okay, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I I had you roll too soon. I had you roll too soon. So when someone hits him, yeah, this way. When someone hits him, you're gonna do another Constitution save, and you may or may not take the damage. If I die, does that like? I mean, like. Yeah, that that destroys I... the that destroys the connection. If you die. <laughs> he just kind of makes he, and it's this is more of his way of dictating how the battle goes. Mm. He likes his mind games. He likes his mind games. That was his lair action. So, Kit, uh, let's see if you look over and you see Kit <coughs> cough up blood and die. Saga, you are up. Hey, okay, I am going to get up. Using half of my movement. Okay. I'm going to run to Leoric. And I'm going to try to see if I can get the crown any looser or any further off of her head without hurting her. Okay. Make, once you touch, like, you go to touch it, make a wisdom saving throw. Oh no. Pretty well that. Um. That is a 19. 19. So you're only going to take half damage. Um, okay. Let me roll some d8s. Yeah, half damage is cool unless it's like 500 damage or something. <laughs> it's just really pointy, y'all. Yes. <laughs> well, it's, just, it's just stuck to your head by non-magical means. It's just, 12. Yeah. yeah. You, take six, you take six necrotic damage. And as long as you hold on, um, she'll have advantage. I'll hold on. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I, I'm done. I'm going to grab some water, but I'll be back in like two seconds. Alrighty. And now, Zul, his first death save. He fails. Jonah is up, and he sees that the residual, the residual is on the, on the ground. And he's like, I can, I can, I can try, and he attempts to try to cast the ritual spell um, on the residual, but it's going to take a little bit of time. And so that's Jonah. Roxa. going to cast uh, Spirit Guardians. Okay. Uh, any number of creatures you see to get affected by it, and any number of creatures you see to get affected by it. Alright, so I'm going to... I'm going to move right here. Spirit Guardians, which is going to just flutter all of these, like, rabbits around. Uh-huh. And uh, let me read it for you. Uh, they flit around you in a distance of 15 feet for the duration. If you are good or neutral, then it's not good or good angelic. Um, an effective creature's speed is half in the area that the creature enters the uh, area for the first time on the turn where it starts its turn. You have to make a wisdom saving throw or a fail save. They take 3d8 radiant damage. 3d8 radiant. And it's how big of the, how big is it? It's a 15-foot aura around. Okay, it's 15 foot. Okay, there you go. So that should reach. Uh, level if you get, you just gotta move one more beat, and you're, and it'll hit him. One more, one more block. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll use my extra hop to go one d12 that way. Perfect. Yep, and it hits him. Cool. So his speed is half. Okay, and what, what save does he have to make on his turn? He has to make a wisdom saving throw or take 3d8 radiant. Okay, but that's on his turn. Yeah. Okay, cool. And, um, let's see. And is the, is that, does that do it for Roxa? Uh, no, I'm gonna do a bonus action real quick. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna shoot the shield at him and then hit him in the face. Roll to hit. Twenty-five hit. Twenty-five hits. Cool nine damage. Nice, 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 nice. Still looks good. <laughs> yeah. His clothes are starting to get a little shuffled up. But it seems like he's every time with every round, he's always able to kind of heal a little bit. Always able to kind of gain back some of his uh, lost vitality. And does the hemoglobin do anything on this turn? Yeah, um, I'm going to save it uh, for another round. Okay. Alrighty. That brings it. Okay, Barrett. Okay, Barrett. And Barrett dies. Not great. Thanks for NPC. Nope. To Sona, go ahead and roll to see if you can break out of the stun. Yeah. Alright, that is an 18. 18 is exactly the DC, so it's a fail. Huh? So, To Sona's still stunned. Oh, we're reaching the breaking point of the time. I don't want to. I don't think we can go over. Let's see. That brings it over to top of the round. Leoric. Uh, you have event uh, you have advantage. Mm -hmm. On uh, rem for, for removing it from my throw, yeah? Yep. Okay. Um yeah, of course she's just gonna say like she's gonna like just say like thank you, thank you over and over again to uh Saga while she's doing that. Uh You can do this. Come on, Leo. Oh, all right. 
All right. Um. Now that's an eighteen. That's a fail. The <laughs> it comes closer in on you. So, come the next round, you need to attempt to kill yep. the new guardian. Mm-hmm. Uh, Larcanus. We're, okay, so first let me ask, can you guys go another half an hour? I can. Okay, cool. And then keep going. Larcanus, you're up. It's uh, it's affecting. It's not. It shouldn't be affecting. Does it affect friendlies? No, I can choose who it affects. Okay, so you're good. It you it it seems like cute little bunnies, kind of <laughs> hopping around, which you are in kind of an in between place. If you think cute little bunnies are terrifying or friendly. Yeah, I'm still kind of torn. <laughs> Where the hell? He is right in front of you. Okay, I can see the shield is right here. Okay, uh, yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him with a stick. Hit him. <laughs> he's flanking. Even yeah. up. That's a good question because he's stunned. Would that still? It's like double advantage. Optional. It was fine. His movement is. Let's see. Who's? Okay. Uh, uh, Tizona's fine. I actually never been in a situation like that. This is if your monk has successfully stunned a creature, you don't get, you don't gain a benefit from flanking the creature with the monk. It feels underwhelming that you can't gain some character for attack. No, that the only creature that threatens the defender to help the attacker get a token bonus. So like you, I would roll now. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say because he's stunned and he can't move, he's not really our corte wouldn't be concerned about him. So he can have full focus on Larcanus. So I'm not going to allow the um, the advantage for flanking unless Tisona or someone else is flanking him. Okay. You just have to move a little bit, and then you can flank, yeah. <laughs> Roxa. But um, you can move. You can move, and so you're flanking on the side of Roxa. Oh, oh, okay. That's okay. You can take those actions in any order. You have action movement. Mm-hmm. Uh, bonus you can move. You can exactly. You can do a bonus action at the top. You can you can you just have those. All right. So um, then I'm gonna move to the flank so I can get that advantage. Yes, you can. Alright. Uh, we are rolling attack with stick. Oh yeah. That's what twenty twenty five. Twenty five hits. Yes, it does. That's nine for damage for the first hit. Nice. Damn. Second attack, I believe, miss it. Well, I don't know. What'd you roll? Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. Yeah, no, no, miss. Uh, fury of blows. Fury of blows. Dang, that's a nineteen to hit. Nineteen hits. Oh, it hits. Okay, good. Yeah, it's just a guy. <laughs> it's just a guy <laughs> who's killed like one, two, three, four, <laughs> a few of your guys. Right. Oh, wait, I was supposed to roll an advantage. Correct? Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, that one definitely hits. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> roll some damage, uh, sir. That's. uh... Damn, my brain is weird today. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, good. So, yes, and so in the back to the second. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well then, that one definitely missed both times. So, <laughs> patient defense. Patient defense. Okay. Shit. Kid's Activate. dead. Saga, you are up. All right. Um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Mm-hmm. He's going to use a legendary action. 
Oh, jeez. Mm. And he's going to cast Ray of Frost. He's going to turn around and cast Ray of Frost on Roxa and hitting Jonah. Oh. And to hit Jonah. Wait a minute. Question. What's up? Sorry, you guys are probably going to hate me for this. Um, we're binded together, so me punching him. Actually. Yeah. I forgot sure. about that. I forgot yeah. about that. Thank you for reminding me. You're a good man. Roll your constitution save. <laughs> Just go ahead and kill me because I rolled a natty one and my constitution is a negative one. And so, um, so you you're gonna take that damage. I forgot you both on. Oh. Yep. Because I didn't know no better. <laughs> it's okay. When we do like the one shots, you're gonna build a much more. So, so um, how much HP did you have left? I had eleven. Eleven. So first punch actually killed. Well, you take half. You take half of the damage that you dealt out. Uh, okay. So that total, you 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 dished out. Ugh, God, I should have written down. You did eleven. Because you hit you hit him a couple times. Yeah, eleven. I think there was twelve in there, unfortunately. Eleven and a twelve. Uh, so I'll yeah. he's gonna heal it. So yeah, you're down. Yeah. <laughs> and he's gonna heal you up some. I know, I know. And you know and he, he looks over at you perplexingly. And just like, he looks over at you perplexingly as you're about to fall unconscious. Are you ever going to not fall for my tricks? Are you? I don't care about your tricks. I'm still going to punch you. As you, uh, fall un- uh, as you fall unconscious, Saga, you are up. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, no. I had a different plan. Part of my entire Can I just say I'm so happy that this is hands down the hardest fight you guys have ever had? I'm good at I'm helping the orc. Okay. Roll wisdom safe. Alright, come on, Saga. Take full damage. Six. Uh, six, four, 14. You take 17 necrotic. Ow. I'm the Oryx. Come on. We can beat it this time. Okay. And now, uh, he's going to use his legendary action to use Ray of Frost on Roxa and, um, Make that wisdom saving throw, though? Yes, he is going to make that wisdom save. He failed, so he's instead going to use the legendary action to succeed, that one. So, he's out of legendary actions. Hmm. That's shitty. Um. Wait, if I remember correctly, he does it on his turn, right? Yeah. Okay, so never mind. He... He's doing a legendary action. It's not his turn yet. He's just using a legendary action because Saga's undone with her turn. So we'll get to that when it's his turn. So, sorry. And let's see. Ray of Frost. He's going to roll to hit you. That's um, that's a 22 to hit. Me? Yeah. Yeah, it is. 4d8. Cold. So that is 9, 16. And he's going to hit Jonah 2 for 16. So Jonah's going to try to do a concentration to see if he can maintain the ritual. He maintains the ritual. So he's still trying to cast a spell on the um, residuum. That is. He took a bad. He took a. That hit hit. That, that hit him hard. He is not looking. As spry as he once was. Go away. And that brings it. That was his legendary action. Gabriel. Alright, Gabriel. This is it. Let's see. He's doing pretty good. He's 2 1 on the uh, on the other side of it. Gabriel. <gasps> <laughs> and Gabriel survives. 
<laughs> By the skin of his fucking teeth. 11. He wrote an 11. <laughs> Attached to your before you fucking kill him, Eric. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm just such a good actor. But all right. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> he is going to now is is now it is, um, his turn, Awakorte. So he's gonna make that wisdom save. What was wisdom? 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 It's a fourteen. Is a fourteen a success? Uh, on the wisdom, no. Yeah. Then he's going to use a legendary action to res he's going to do his, use his legendary resistance to succeed and now he's going to do some <coughs> now he's going to start hitting people he's his used, movement is still slow his move is still slowed he's already used a summit level eight level ninth level so he is going to use blight at a fifth level so oh, Oh yeah, if he if, if even with a success he takes half, then please roll. Yeah. Eleven damage. Okay. Noted. Let's see. Where are you, Blight? I know I just saw you. There you are. Over a creature of your choice. He is going to that is a quite enough. I do not feel like I wish to go into the residuum, and he's going to aim his blight spell at Jonah. And Jonah is going to make a constitution save. Come on, Jonah. Come on, Jonah. Come on, Jonah. Yeah, that didn't work out. Um, so he's going to take full damage from a level 5 blight. Which is, how, how much is level 5? 8d8, so 9d8. Oh no. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Didn't mean to do that. I, I hit way too many. Roll. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Okay, Jonah. Come on, Jonah. Just launch this. A low roll. Just enough. And Jonah, the blight hits him in his chest and Jonah collapses this ritual spell ending you hear the cackling sound of of Alicorte <laughs> and now please tell me what are you going to do now you have no one to complete your spell why don't you just give up and that does it for his turn. And come on, Zul. Come on, Zul. Success on Zul. That's two successes for Zul. One, one fell and two successes. If I remember, if I remember correctly. Jonah, your first success. Jonah has success on his death save. Roxa. I'm going to. Um... God, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> it's um, it's looking pretty rough. <laughs> it's looking pretty rough for everyone. Hey, you know, if you take the thing, there's no need to run a rock audition. That's true. Who's it? Uh. Because I already written out if our Corte won and what would happen, so I'm curious to see how. Yeah, no, it's uh It's like you guys are fighting a big bad evil guy. Check up. This is so fucking high. Um Uh, no, um, I'm gonna run over uh, to the other 
other side of where Larcanus is. Okay. And I'm going to uh, move him up. Does the does the thing follow you? The orb? It does. Okay. Yeah, it's an aura around me. Okay, let me um let me give you control okay. over it. You attack with your dexterity, right? Chill. Chill, it's a blender. <laughs> um, actually, just to keep you... Uh, just to keep you up, I'm going to hit you with a bear's endurance. So you're going to have advantage on charisma checks, and then you also gain 2d6 temporary hit points. Okay. Okay. You a little bit back in the game? You guys are... <laughs> Send my shield at him again. Roll it. Roll to hit. No, it's a 14. 14 misses. He kind of ducks under it. And it is look. And then, um, and then this is going to be the last. Uh, this is going to be a Jago comes out of the orb again. Alrighty. Jago's out of the orb. I'll. You can do something. Is he. Um, does he know the ritual? He does. Yeah, he's a, he's just going to start doing the ritual. Okay. Like, I spent enough time in there. I think I know what I can do. Alrighty. And you see a course of um, energy forming around the residuum and the hemoglobin. You guys notice that there's a type of necrotic energy that's in the hemoglobin that's being junted out and slowly going in towards the residuum that's scattered along the, the ground. And... Alrighty. Okay. Barrett's already dead. Let me get that uh, that that save from Tasona. See if he can break the power word. Uh, that is going to be a nineteen. That's a success. Awesome. That ends his turn, but he is now ugh, he's back. Your 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 one of your big hitters is now back in the fight. Leoric. Roll with a yeah. roll with advantage. Well, like my attack with advantage. Yeah. Oh no no no! You're yeah you failed so, attack saga. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Um yeah. Before she winds up to just like punch um Simon Fish, kind of like, kind of see her like like close her eyes and just look frustrated as it like takes hold again. <sighs> Ugh, okay. Um, that's a 17 to it? Nope. Thank God for shielding. Roxa, I love you. <laughs> Clinch, that's a support character right there. Yes, amazing. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. How the hell does he? Oh yeah, I remember. Cause like, for some reason D and D Beyond like was fucking up on my uh computer, so I just opened up my phone. Um, all right. Uh, da -da, da -da. All right. So this one is like um. No, that's um. Yeah, she's. I don't know why I keep on doing this. Um, she's gonna go for you with uh her short sword. Okay. All right. Um, that, that doesn't hit. I rolled a two. Uh, <laughs> yes, that doesn't hit. Um, okay, and then I'm going to do a bonus, uh, bonus action. I'm going to try to do Flurry of Blows. Okay. Oh. That was, that, that was a natural 20. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, Finally, yeah. you are doing your job. Okay, that, uh, da, 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 um, sorry, blows, I don't know about that, uh, I know what, I'm, 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 I'
All right, that is half because it's bludgeoning. Okay. You're gonna right. take your and just kind of like try to duck under. Rafa, I'm gonna I'm gonna need you in a bit. Um. Yeah. So and then then of course she's gonna she's gonna try to. Yep. Ooh, ooh, okay. That that's um that's a twenty. Twenty, that's a success. Yeah. Okay. So pff, it's moving off. All right. Larcanus, you are up. So like I died and I'm back, so we're no longer tethered, correct? No, you're yeah, you're no longer tethered. See, I was gonna do that before, but I wanted to acid Did, breath him to yeah. death and then kill myself to untether and then get healed because it would have done maximum damage, but I totally fine. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. Uh let's go. Uh, I'm gonna punch him. Punch him. Does the same thing. <laughs> go ahead and punch him. It's uh eighteen or seventeen to hit. That hits. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry, sorry. You said 17 to hit? Um, yes. I'm oh, sorry, it's a mess. Just barely miss. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. That was a 10. That one was... Three <laughs> uh, blows. Oh, that's an 18. Okay. 18 hits. Okay. First strike of three blows. That is a seven again. Second strike. Oh snap! That is twenty-five. Twenty-five. Nice. Uh, and that one's twelve for damage. Cool. And back to patient defense. Okay. At the end of your turn, he's. Bye. By the way, guys, he's looking hurt. <laughs> but he is at the end of your turn. He is going to look at you and say. Come now. We all know, no matter how you look, no matter how you dress, you will always be Timid Dragon. I need you to make um, a wisdom saving throw as he does frightening gaze. Uh, can I also you? What's up? Stillness of mind. After. Really? Oh, I had like after. Okay, well, yeah, yeah I felt. <laughs> yeah. So you are frightened for the next okay. minute. When it comes to your turn, you can stillness of mind. Yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah. What is it? The target is immune to two. Alrighty. And that will do it for. That's his legendary action. I thought he ran out of legendary action. New round. <laughs> and Saga, you are up. All right. Um. So seeing Jonah die, she lets out like just like blood curdling scream, and just abandons her plan to help the Arctic because she's making an emotional decision. Uh, Which would mean, are you leaving the range? Uh, range of of Leoric. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Last round. All right, all right. Um, I guess I just opportunity of attack is gonna yeah. If she's strike. Yeah. Does she still when does she still have to if she saved in the last round? Oh, you did. <laughs> You're right. I did. You did. I don't. You, you don't. Thank you for I, reminding me. I, I'm <laughs> about to roll on you. All right. Okay. Yeah. You know, about to roll on you. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna move up. Here's what I'm flanking with Roxa. Uh huh. Um, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna just. With my 15 whole hit points, I am gonna hit him. Okay. Roll to hit. So that is with advantage because of flanking. Jesus Christ! I just rolled a one and a two. These dice are going back to jail. Throw them away. They are trash. Um. 24 to hit. 24 to hit. That hits. 
right? Um, that is gonna be four plus. Oh, I also I had a steering smite on that. Um, go ahead, slap that smite. It's fifteen plus two d six, so fifteen magical slashing plus two d six radiant, so four radiant. Okay. Uh, and then bonus action, I'm gonna rage now that that smite's been used. Okay. Um, and I would like that deck save from him, but I know it's not going to do much, but hey, a little lightning is scary. That was a natural one. Ah, um, so that's 10, but Which half. Because half. Him, so He's looking hurt. He's looking really hurt. Is my action. Yeah. That's your action. He's out of it. That was a two for the legendary. Gabriel's alive. Mm -hmm. Now time for the Lich. Okay. He is going to... You are just a fraction too close for his liking. And he's going to cast Blight at level 4. And let's see. Who is close? <laughs> Everyone's close to him, actually, right now. No oh, damn yet. So he has Saga, he has Tasona, and he has Roxa. And Larcanus is somewhere. I can't I don't even see where you are like Oh you're like you're like fire. You're like right on top of each other. You're all like on top of yeah, each other. We're all right here. Maybe my shield's there. So he's gonna go for Saga. <laughs> so Saga, make a make a constitution save. Alright. That is a. It's math 21. What'd you say? 21. 21? Okay, well, you saved. So you're taking half. Still might be enough to put me down. What's up? Still might be enough to put me down at this point. Very male might be. If he rolls low enough, maybe you'll survive. Come on. What's the number? 31. So you take 15. I'm down. I had exactly 15 hit points. And Saga goes unconscious. And that will do it for him. Zul's going to make a death save. He fails on that one. So he's one and one. Jonah succeeds. So he's almost he's almost back. Um, Roxa. Uh, I want to kind of like leapfrog over Larkanis there mm -hmm. and get uh and uh, get right behind uh get right behind Saga. Uh huh. I'm gonna do my highest my last one at that highest level. So do another cure wounds. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so it's still rolling. I calculate it. Oh, it did, and then it disappeared. 32. Oh. It's at 32. 32? Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much. And then that is me. I like not being dead, and I'm very glad to be a cleric. Thank you. Uh, and, um... I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to slap him with my mace. Go for it. It's gonna be a 19 to hit. 19 hits. Alright, so that's gonna be... 7, uh, uh 7. Is your nine damage altogether? Is that is your weapon uh, magical? Yeah, because I cast holy weapon on it. Again. Okay, and what was the what was the damage? It's uh, it's only nine damage. Nine uh, damage. The, uh, two of its radiant. Okay, okay. He is looking very hurt, extremely hurt. Okay. Okay. 
That's a fail. And he is, he does not have enough legendary actions to... To resist he's gonna it. Four, he's going to take 48 radiant damage. Okay. Seven. Eighteen damage. Eighteen damage. As you... As you cast this spell, and you see light start erupting inside Awakorte, and his whole body just starts <laughs> out. And it looks like, I, did, did we do it? And he starts to form. You see his essence starting to form back. But you seem like you defeated this version of him, but he is coming back. Um, does that do it for your turn? And that was everything I could do in one turn. And then, as Ooh. as you do that, you see Jago with blood circling around him and the, and the hemoglobin. The, the, you see this necrotic energy jump out of the hemoglobin into the residuum, and the essence that was our recording forming goes into the residuum, and a body forms a weakened human body of our corte. And he's. No. No. Not no. I will kill all of you. Seems very human now. You fucked up, old man. <laughs> Tisona, what would you like to do? All right. Oh, um, I forgot that I was playing two characters for a second. Uh, he's going for it. He's just, he's going up to Alacorte. Let me see if I want, if there are any spells that I want to do. Um, I love that this is playing out like a Final Fantasy battle. He, past the initial. he, he, he <laughs> you, you guys just beat Savior Sephiroth. You guys just right. beat. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, uh, no spells, just gonna, just gonna run up on him and, and hit him with my sword. Hit him with the sword, go for it. Alright, um, so, three attacks, because he's still gone. Uh, first attack, 29. Mm-hmm. Uh, 15 points of damage. Saga, how does Tisona want to do it? He just, he, oh, he can, he, he That's beautiful. Seeing him in this weakened state, he, he comes forward almost calmly with his great sword. Rather than slashing, he just thrusts through his gut with one strike. <gasps> Hailing him, and he twists the sword. Blood starts first time you've ever seen Awakorte actually bleed. And you see red blood going down his mouth. And he falls to his knees and collapse dead. You have defeated Awakorte. And in that moment, the necrotic crown falls off. You are of your own mind, Leoric, and you have defeated Awakorte. And unless you guys have a little bit more time, we can do an epilogue. I'm okay with an epilogue. I'm in talk right now. As I got, I got like another five. Okay. Ten. Yeah. So, as the necrotic energy that has been coursing around this area dissipates away, and you look out and you see all your friends who are no longer with you, Caliph, dead, Poke, dead, Barrett, Kith. All dead. Jonah, dying. Gabriel, stable. And Zul, dying. Um, I'm assuming you guys are going to help them up. <laughs> yeah, definitely stabilizing. And as you guys save the day, the jo Jago's essence 
goes away, the hemoglobin crumbles and falls apart, where the only thing that's left is a single circle, about a ring size, on the ground. What would you like to do? Saga runs over to Jonah as he's being healed and just kneels down beside him, throws her arms around him, and just starts sobbing. Yeah. On that note, as you're doing that, you see Damien run up from the ship and collapses on top of uh, you and uh, Jonah and deep sob tears streaming to Sona kind of hanging out in the back and then slowly begins to walk away. And he's going to try to do that without anyone noticing. And he wrote it natural 18. So unless someone has uh he just my, my passive perception is 18. You notice to Sona just he takes his sword, shunks it into the dirt, and turns around and walks out the fort. Um if that if you guys are just and now I don't know how many diamonds Roxa has, or if he has any spell slots left. Um, but you can decide what you decided to do with your fallen companions in the days coming. Um, what happens in Lomare? The Civil War is officially ended. Ashantu um, has um, relinquished its battle. Aztec is um, executed on the steps of uh, Bourbon Bay. And the ruling and Grigor is placed as the um, the ruler of Ashantu, as he was a resident of there. Baku retires as the leader of Hardened Shell and places Zul as his um, acting lead. Dimitri, when the dust is settled, is realized that Dimitri was killed by Awakorte. And that was how he got his residuum. Saza maintains as the only acting uh, ruler of Lomer. Your mother, Saga, completes her uh, giant painting and is um, celebrated as one of the greatest artists of Lomer. The your where would you like your statues to be placed? As you all, with the exception of Leoric, sorry, but you all have statues placed anywhere you would like in Lomer. Where would they be? Um, I want mine sort of in more of like a greener pasture, mm -hmm. but I also, uh, we also need a Drago statue. And where would Drago's statue be? Um... Honestly, it would probably be with the people he wanted to be with most, which is his tribe, which is you guys. So it would be at the keep. At the keep. Jago's statue stands at the head of the keep. Leoric, you are going to be tried for war crimes. Um, however, in consideration is taken um, for your uh, actions. And as the trial was going, the Guiding River Monastery comes to Lomer on official status where Calrissian, Larcanus's father, speaks on your behalf. You are, re you are released into the jurisdiction of the Guiding River with Master Hunt taking personal responsibility. Larcanus, what would you, what, um, and Leoric, Marcanus, what would you guys like to do? What, where do you think your characters will go from there? Uh, I'm, I'm definitely starting a new monastery. Like, and I don't know if Larcanus is smart enough to give it a name. He's probably calling it New Guiding River. <laughs> uh. And wh where is, where is this um, new monastery going to be at? 
Um, I want it to be in the forest adjacent to the keep. Okay, so at the head of the so going towards Father's Resolve or going towards the Bayou. Um, towards Father's Resolve. Okay. Um, throughout your throughout that actually, actually no actually through the bayou because I ran through that bayou made for funny stories when I'm talking to my students so yes so as you got okay so you established a new guy remember as you all have a shit fuck ton of money as after all the dust has settled someone actually looked over at the chest that you guys com- constantly forgot but because you actually kept the keep you didn't lose the keep the chest never moved. And you have hundreds of thousands of gold. As that was the fee paid to the uh, Guiding River. Saga. What does Saga do? So I think... Um, first, she's going to... She's going to go home to Mother's Love. And she's going to just figure out what happened with her family. She's going to spend time tracking down her father. Mm-hmm. He's not already there. He would be there. War is over. He's back home in his shop. So she's going to spend a couple months, I think, at home, just spending time with her family, going for a lot of long walks, trying to just make sense of what happened and sort of like take the time to, to recover from all of it. Um, she's going to request that her statue be put in Father's Resolve. All right. A sign of people being able to come home. And then after that, she's going to go back up to the keep. Um, and she's going to kind of keep, like, take stock of, of what needs to be done there. And when it is finally all put together and everything in the lair is sort of coming together for her, she's going to start using her company to run a shipping business, using her ship to run a shipping business. Um, and the first person she's going to go to is Gabriel because he, he was looking for a ride off the island. <laughs> yeah. Um, and she's going to, she's going to offer him that ride off the island and just explain, you know, I, I'm taking my ship out for its first voyage and we needed a ride. So at least I could do he definitely willingly takes that ride and at one point will ask you to stay with him. What does Saga say? She's going to consider it for a minute. And she's going to decide that she needs a little bit more time um, and that she's not quite ready to leave her family. So what she's going to say is, look, I... I want to see where this goes. I want to. I want to give. I give us the time for that. I also can't leave my home forever. I can't leave my family again. Mm-hmm. I should make it so that this is my main shipping route. I can be here half the time and back home half the time. You can join me whenever you want. We could just see how it goes. Yeah. I would like that. So I say, thinking about building an emporium. And Gabriel's emporium is built on that do- along that city dockside. And potentially trying to build a franchise in Lomare. Roxa. What does Roxa do? Uh, so Roxa's going to kind of stay on the island there and not island but let the land there and just keep preaching the word of Shantea for the most part but going around and like sharing and teaching people how to use healing spells and what to do with it and like really uh just secure the land and help the land grow fertile again too all righty all righty um who picks up the little reen uh the last remaining reen of the hemoglobin Nobody does. I think Saga eventually would, but it's definitely not her first priority. Who was the first one to go and grab it? If that wasn't your first priority, who would have snagged it up? Uh, Roxa will do it. Oh. Uh. If not Leoric. If not Leoric. Okay. 
between the two of you, who who does it? I mean, if he was closer to it, she would have like not picked it up. Okay. But I'm sure he's closer to it at the so. Alrighty. The state where she was. The the hemo, the the piece of the hemoglobin does possess a soul that's forever bound to it, and you are if you wish you can. Is that, that's a whole other journey of releasing the soul into the afterlife or connecting to it on a deeper level, and you are aware that Jago's soul still resides in the residuum. Leoric, what does Leoric do after the trial? Reunited with Master Hunt. She is going to ask uh, Master Hunt where the mountain is, where he found her. Um, and he remembers he's going to go there. Um, just try to figure out, like, you know, why she was left there. She's going to leave the monastery. there. She's going to, like, you know, I'm done, not coming back. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the mountain and just see what she finds there. Um, wandering monk style? Yeah, and from that point on, she's just gonna like travel off, not on the island, but um, I'm like orphans like herself and send them Larcanus's way, give them like shipping pa passage towards. Mayor and the wandering monk guide the wandering former guiding river Arjanasi monk travels the world helping orphans find their way and that is the story of the new guardians and that's the end of the Lomare campaign so thank you guys so much for uh mm -hmm. rolling with me for 30 sessions you survived i really tried to kill by the way did you guys resurrect anyone um, I I only had the one diamond. Oh. And I used it on Saga. Then. We bought, I, I thought we bought I, like a handful of diamonds when we first. I had only, I think I didn't either write the multipliers down, but I only had one listed on my inventory. Got, I want to say you had at least, I want to say. I think it was so long ago I had only written diamond. <laughs> Pretty sure it was three. Saga would definitely give you the one that she had. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll, um. You got one. Uh, you got. Who? Uh, so you got Barrett, Kith, Kalith, Poke. And uh, yeah, uh, well, I'm gonna revive Kalith. Kalith is. Kalith returns back to life and assists Larcanus in his building of the, of the um temple near the bayou as her baby can brain resources and whatnot around so Kayla survives good for Kayla <laughs> and I feel like the baby would help out with the shipping okay. yes and there you guys go well thank you guys so much this was fun uh, hopefully we can all play again sometime but that is the yeah. end of my little mare campaign thank you guys I thank you guys so much for partaking this with me and uh, surviving, because I definitely, did, I, I like to say I did not make it easy for you at the end. Mm -hmm. And, um, but yeah, I have, take, I have taken way too much of your time. We've gone way over. But thank you guys so much. I'm going to upload this to the YouTube. My name is Eric Bell. Um, you guys can find me on TikTok and on Instagram at Bell Comedy. Rihanna, please tell people where they can find you. Hello, um, you can find me at beanabees underscore on uh, TikTok and on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, yeah, I do cosplay and talk about all the nerdy stuff that I like. So come hang out. And Ellen? Hey all I'm Ellen. You can find me at Chaotic Good Ellen on uh, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitch. Um, just want to give Eric a huge word of appreciation uh for putting this together getting this fantastic group of people together to play this campaign the world you've built here is just so vivid and and real and it's been an absolute blast playing every minute of this with all of you um thank uh, you so much and i'm really looking forward to the next adventure that this group gets to do together oh thank you so much and oh, i yeah. am uh, kenobi home yes. I know, you guys can find me at Twitch, 
uh, some of my favorite video game totally. um, uh, and occasionally on TikTok so yeah come check me out have fun and, and thank you both for including me also oh man you you did first so D &D. good first D&D game and you went to the end of the session so I love this yeah I hope I hope we have started an addiction for you. you know, yeah, uh, too many guys. Yeah. <laughs> and it becomes the best video game. You know? It does actually. It's pretty great. And Rich. Uh, you can follow me on uh, um, on Twitter and Instagram at Richie Humps. Uh, you can find me on any gaming platform at Pepperjack Fan, including uh, soon to be starting a Twitch channel. Uh, uh, a lot of it will be just me playing the Avengers game and talking about my MCU fan theories. Uh, <laughs> and um, it, it, So you can catch that there. I'm going to start uh, streaming my own campaign with a couple of other friends pretty soon as well. Um, and I've been, I've been playing around a lot of different formats. Uh, I mean, like, Powered by the Apocalypse has been really fun to roll with. Uh, Vaults and Vertebirds is something I really want to do with this crew. So that we can all play a five E uh, rendition of Fallout together. Mm. Um, that, that'll be yeah. really fun. It'll be a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to go on too. Um, uh, but I mean, one big thing I'll just plug is that if you're really um, if you're really about the shits with supporting Asian art, there's a streaming service called Haya, which is all uh, martial arts and kung fu movies, Ooh. and it's three dollars a month. Uh, I mean, like, it's, uh, they have originals, they have, like, they have all the Ip Mans, they have everything Donnie Yen's ever done, you can search for it by, like, who you love, like, it, so it's a really good centered place to really, like, support Asian filmmaking. I love it. I love it. Well, guys, that was the Lomare Games. Thank y'all. Until next time. See ya.